My mother enjoyed wine till she got busted by her doctors. I am in charge of my mother's health care, so I sent her to the doctor complaining of vertigo. And she went to the doctor complaining of vertigo after drinking a box of wine. And the doctor was like, ma'am, uh, dizziness is also a symptom of uh, drinking a lot of wine. Have you had alcohol today? Your teeth are purple. It's her 83-year-old answer to that question. No, I've had wine. Because when you're an 83-year-old lady, lady, wine is no longer alcohol, it's a blood thinner. She read an article about resveratrol and now I'm the idiot. She taught us everything wrong. Did your parents screw up expressions? My mother used to just make up expressions and we didn't know that till later when we were adults, we would quote her and look like idiots. And sometimes the early worm eats birds in the sunshine when there's haystacks to be made. So that's how you lose needles. You all right, man? Where'd you grow up? Well, my mom said. My favorite was she'd say, it's like I tell you something that just goes in one ear. That's it. Never knew there was more to that until I was 30. All those, all those expressions are weird anyway. Have you ever used an expression, wonder where it came from originally? Like, how could that have meant what we're really saying? I have a buddy, whenever he sees a big scary guy with like cauliflower ear and stuff, he goes, man, I wouldn't want to meet that guy in a dark alley. I'm like, oh yeah, dark alleys? That's where you're gonna draw the line on that animal? I wouldn't want to meet him anywhere. If he could beat me up in a dark alley, I'm pretty sure he could pull it off in broad daylight. He's not getting distracted by dandelions in a sunlit prairie. He's knocking me out. You know who I wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley? A little person with night vision. That'd be terrifying. <laughs> That's who rules the dark alleys. Google it. <laughs> rat's ass. Remember that? I don't give a rat's ass. Good, don't. Why do you have a rat's ass? Where did you get a rat's ass? Why do you still have it? They go bad. Did you press it in a book like a dried flower for when you gave a rat's ass? I don't know how they keep. These expressions are weird. Time heals all wounds. Anybody believe that? Not if you're a hemophiliac, it doesn't. Everybody gets nervous on that. Are there any here? I don't even know what they look like. I said hemophiliac in Georgia and a guy got mad because he didn't know what the word meant. They broke off into an argument at his table. He's like, I don't know why this guy don't speak English. Hemophilia. I don't even know what he's talking about anymore. I think my cousin's a hemophiliac. <laughs> yeah, he told us at Thanksgiving, his dad is like, ain't no son of mine gonna be a hemophiliac. <laughs> Not in my house, you hemos in your short shorts and whatnot. I ain't standing for it. And Trump's gonna get rid of all you hemos anyway. <laughs> That dude was hemophobic and that is ignorant. <laughs> my sister uses the waltzing expression. You can't just waltz right in here. Tell me how to live my life. <laughs> when were people doing that? Were people literally waltzing into each other's houses and talking trash ever? Was that a big problem in the Victorian age or something? <laughs> There's too many people judgmentally dancing into each other's castles these days. <laughs> Might we have a look around? This place is a disaster. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. These drapes are hideous and you need a 401k. Get your life together, I'm dancing. Empty that litter box before I whip and nay nay. You don't know what I'll do. <laughs> if you don't put your children in a private school, I will wobble does that. Nobody dances. And if people, if that was a human reaction to conflict, there would be regional examples of that expression. It would be different in different places. Like where I was born in Wisconsin, people, people be going, you're not going to polka in here and tell me how to run this dairy farm, right? You just take your clogs and river dance on back over to North Dakota. <laughs> or right down in Nephi, they'd be going, you ain't going to come two-stepping into my trailer park. Tell me where I can have a chicken. You just boot scoot and boogie the heck out of space. 149. <laughs> where I used to live in Los Angeles, people be going, you're not going to cumbia into my home. 
tell me how to raise my children, you can Macarena right out the door. All those expressions. My mom now wants to be a, an on-star operator. She's in her 80s. Her neighbor's 60 and is, a, is an on-star operator. And, and she said, I'm gonna be an on-star operator. She just didn't put a word in for me. I was like, yeah, well, you're the most drunken, sarcastic, misspoken woman I've ever talked to on the telephone. You should definitely do that. That'd be an awesome <laughs> on-star experience. Wouldn't you pay extra to get your own drunk, angry mom on on-star? <laughs> I ran out of gas. Oh, really? Didn't you know you're going somewhere? A gas can in the hand is better than when you're hitchhiking in the bushes or whatever. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.